my class today is going to be about contentment. Um, so most of you are asking a lot of things that they want uh, things to happen in the future so that they could be a bit more healthier, they could be a bit more um, richer in, in the material level, in a level of even they put the practice, oh, if I do the practice, I will be happy in the moment. So what I'm trying to come into our, today's class is that don't leave uh, your happiness into the future. Because the moment you moved into that space of something is future is going to be better than this moment. I say it's, it's going to be not happiness. It's not going to be content. So the idea of this class is a mastery that <clears throat> you become conscious of your mind <coughs> and its movement towards the past and the future. And in that place, if in your present moment, you are spending so much time about the future, when the future comes, you're also going to be thinking about further future and you're not going to enjoy the things that are already in there. So in this present moment, what we really need to observe is the, the mind does not fluctuate into the back and into the front and telling that right at this moment is not enough. So this illusional about something else is going to bring you happiness. So today's class, just observe where you're, going, where you're going to keep the breath, the space of the mind and the body, all in a place of oneness. Oneness means not forcing it. There is no need a, a discipline or a control. There is a level of consciousness. But here it goes. And that's okay, you don't have to bring into the present. Here it goes, is itself is a present moment. Okay, so be very careful. Here it goes to the past, that realization itself is present. So now saying that very gently, um, come into a place of a sitting where you're going to loosen up your body and very gently, you're going to take a deep breath in and shoulders roll back very gently, allowing that body activation to the future and into the past to bring into the place of that you are more comfortable with this present moment. So now take a deep breath in, very gently stretch the neck to the right, breathing in back to the center onto the left. Breathing in back to the center, overlook into the left. Breath in back to the center, overlook into the right on the out breath. Breath in back to the center. Feel the head back, look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in, breath out, chin to the chest. Now take a deep breath in, roll, shoulders roll back, back. Breathe out, shoulders roll into the front and a slight slouching. Breathing in, shoulders roll back, lift up the space of the heart. Breathe out, shoulders roll into the front and slouch. Now take a deep breath in, very gently interlacing the fingers. Palms facing into the front. I'll move the camera towards Darren. Stretch the arms up to the ceiling. Elbows slightly stretch. Now back to the center, holding onto the left elbow and stretching towards the right. Opening up that rib cage, breathing in back into the center. Onto the left side, holding onto the right elbow. Back to the center. 
Now very gently release the tension of the arms and holding into the back. So very gently holding onto the elbows. If you can, holding onto the pranam position into the back. Now very gently, if the body is stiff to do this, shoulders gently roll back and just holding where the arms can be hold, whether it's a wrist, whether it's in the forearm, whether it's in the elbow, it's, it's up to you. So don't tighten the body. It's just allowing the body to be open into that space where you can feel things more. Even the pain in a subtle level is you're feeling something. Now relax and let go. Now shoulders relax, shake the arms, release the tension. Now take a deep breath in, arms raise onto the crown. Once you reach that center, gently breathe out, spreading the wings wider and twisting the spine to the left. Now even we move on to the left and to the right, we are just coming in without a fight with the surface. When I say surface, in this, it's the body. In a mind level surface is the world. But you're slipping into the center, breathing in back into the center, arms raised onto the crown, interlacing the fingers, palms facing up, shoulders are relaxed, twist the spine on the out breath to the right. Now, as I said before, you are coming into the mastery. There is no control. There is no force. Even the posture looks like a force. It is a momentum spontaneously when you are centered. Breathing in back into the center. Now, centering in consciousness. Now very gently take a deep breath in. Roll the shoulders back, push the belly into the front. Breathe out into a seated cat, so holding onto the knees. Don't try to control. There is no control of the body, but there is a movement. There is a control of, there's no control of the mind, there's a movement. Because even my language can mislead you. Breathing in, shoulders roll back, coming into the space of the cow. No control, just loosening up the belly, loosening up the space of the kidneys, the ovaries. Shoulders relax. Breathe out into a place of a cat. Now anus lock, navel lock, very gently throat lock. No control, because if you control the practice, it's absurd. Breathing in, shoulders roll back, opening up that chest. Tongue roll up onto the upper palate, energy gaze onto the third eye, no control. Now you know when you can see the control of the mind to control another part. Breathe out, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock. Now, even you can ask the question, who is doing the posture? Who is controlling the breath? Who is trying to control the mind? If the consciousness comes, it doesn't control the mind. Now breathing in into a relaxed position. So now you can see this relaxed position. The breath is, the body is, the mind is, doesn't have a possessiveness. So we can call this state compassion, love, unity with God. So now very gently take a deep breath in. 
shoulders relax, chest open. Walk those palms into the front and coming up onto the knees. Shoulders relax. Now there is no difference between we are going into a different movement. We are coming in from that space of the center. So the perspective that happens to the center is very different when you are coming into a perspective from the surface. Now very gently drop the belly, shoulders roll back, opening up, push that bum muscle up, 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 breathe out into a cat, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock. Breathing in, drop the belly, look up. Shoulders relax, breathe out, anus lock, navel lock, throat lock. Breathing in, drop the belly. Tongue roll up onto the upper palate energy. Now still on the space of the center. Neutral spine. Left arm reaching into the front. Up to the ceiling. Open up, open up the rib cage into the back, onto the floor. Under the armpit. Because you guys all went on to the armpit, I will allow you to go and do that posture, but I was planning to do something different. But observe the mind doesn't go on to the habitual practice. Now your right arm can reach up or into the front or into the sacrum. Just observe the moment. Now, the posture is there, but without a control. Subtle. Breathing in gently, coming back. Completely breathe out into the space of the cat. Breathing in, drop the belly, look up. Shoulders relax and chest open. Now very gently breathing in back into the center, right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench, some of you have still stiffness in those areas, especially if you're using a keyboard, right reaching into the back under the armpit. Shoulders relax and just open. Now, don't worry about the posture when I say that because you're coming from the center, you may do the posture that is needed for you. In fact, you can enjoy the waves and the tides that the body and the mind is giving to you. Because if you're in the center of a place of a lighthouse, then the chaos of the ocean doesn't affect you. But your breath is now an energy giving breath. Your strength is an energy giving strength. Now, if you're not in this energy of healing, energy of the strength, then the body is giving worried, weakening, opposite to health. So observe at this very moment if there is anything weakening your state of the present moment. Breathing in gently, coming back. So the class is in a state of meditiveness. Breathe out into a space of the cat. Breathing in, drop the belly, opening up the chest. Now very gently coming into a place of a neutral spine. Now very gently, right arm stretching to the front. Left leg stretch into the back. Now try to keep that hips not tilting. Breathe out, the elbow and the knee meets. So there is a cat, but 
very different. Breathing in, stretch back. Breathe out. Elbow meets the knee and the head down. Spine is curved. Breathing in, stretch back. Breathe out. Elbow meets the knee. Breathing in, stretch. Breathe out. Elbow meets the knee. Breathe, stretch. Now right arm reaching up to the ceiling, holding onto the back ankle. Now you can look up to the right shoulder if you can. Breathe out, let go and coming into a space of the cat. Breathing in, drop the belly, opening up the chest. Now coming into a neutral spine, and let's do the other side. So if you have done six, then you do six on the other side. So left arm reaching into the front right, leg stretch back. Breathe out, knee and elbow meet. Breathe in, breathe out. Just observe that you're not tilting the hip too much. Stretch breathing in. Breathe out, breathing in, breathe out. That's right, core strength, breathing in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Now very gently, left arm reaching up to the ceiling, holding onto the back ankle. If you can, then very gently lift up, looking into the left shoulder, up to the ceiling. There is a beautiful twist in the elbow. Now, when you want to relax, I would love you to stretch the left arm up to the ceiling and come back. So you're not locking the energy. Now drop the knee. Now push the hips side to side. Then the push the hips into the front and stretch the spine into the back. Now observe the mind, whether it's religious or irreligious in the moment, it is moral or immoral, whether it's divine or opposite to the divine, whether it's right or into the wrong. When you are from that present moment, there is a richness. And that richness will have a frequency of richness attracting because you're a light of richness. This is totally a different depth than someone knows everything through the mind. So this is not poor or shallow. Palms facing up. So now you could see when you don't have this depth, you will be reacting to all the shallow things because there's a shallowness in you. But when you are in the depth, you respond into the depth. Now, is there anything that you have rejected in this practice? No. So your practice is not crippled. Your practice is not paralyzed. So nothing can cripple you. But when you are part, just one side, you're crippled. So you're attracting more crippledness. You're attracting more paralyzed parts into your life. You're attracting more of not a whole. So if you're remaining still on the surface of your brain or the mind, 
just become aware of it because you're suffering because of that. Because your partial perception, the whole perception is needed to understand this. Now very gently palms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest onto the floor. Now very gently drop the belly onto the floor, soften the hips, breathing in into a cobra. Now in a cobra, you could see that it comes into a very divine place. It's not striking on a level of competitiveness. So there is no venom moving into the energy. The consciousness is opening up, uh, one with the universe. So there is an intelligence that is your vibrating in this sequence of the posture. You're tapping into something much more. Two more breaths, deep breath. There is no partial perception. You are in the whole perception. You're in the center. Now very gently relax the third eye onto the floor and let the third eye come into that hands where you are in all dimensions, which all directions at the whole periphery of your being. Vast, wholesome. So now the frequency that you're enjoying is the periphery of the existence. You're one with it. You're centered. Now, in this present moment, it becomes wider and wider and larger and larger and you become whole, not anything less. Now, if a fear comes to you about how to pay a bill, that is lesser than this being, and you will attract that. So that's why what you're thinking in the present moment is very powerful because you're going to attract that. So be very careful if you're gathering a lot of things that are not necessary for your being. Now relax. Breathing in, bring the arms where the elbows are, the palms, and breathing into a very gentle up face. Shoulders roll back, opening up the chest. Breathe out towards the down face. Head down, neck down, and very gently moving into the place of the down face. Bend one knee at a time to release the tension. Take about 60 cycles of breath and bring this down face into a place of from the centering. A down face which is much more wider, down face much more larger than the body, a down face that being the whole, a down face which is from a depth, not crippling, not paralyzing. Move the head into up and into the back because you're still doing the down face from the head. Release the tension of the head. That's it. Now very gently drop the knees, push the hips into the front, into the back, and breathe out, palms facing up. Now this time is really important if you even believe, not that believe, of course we have past lives, uh, at this very moment, you can release those tensions of those fears that you were never came into a better realization than what it is now. So these layers of layers of, uh, let's not say past life, let's say the past as a past tense that you gather throughout the personality which no longer serves you now. 
you have been watching, looking at pictures, those layers of layers of and a cobra comes into a place of shedding that old skin. And now you have stopped becoming identified with something that you have shed, the help of the practice. So you, of course, you identify is with your past, but you don't have to travel with it every moment because it's heavy. Because your future also, you're asking from the lacking of the past. Now palms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest into the front, drop the belly, breathing in into up face, Shoulders roll back, get that extension beautifully opening the throat. Breathe out towards the down face. Head down, neck down, totally relax. Now take a deep breath in, lifting up onto the toes. Breathe out, pushing down to the heels. Breathing in, lifting up onto the toes. Pushing down to the heels. Now breathing in, left leg up into the back. Give a good rotation to the extension, to the foot. Left knee to the left chest, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left knee to the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back. Left foot into the front. Now very gently, arm stretch into the back. Keep your hips square. Bend the knee in the front properly. Arms raise onto the crown. Lengthening to come up. Now bend the knee properly, sit deeper. Palms onto the pranam position. Bend the knee sitting deeper. Now six deep cycles of breath in this position. Either you can move the arms or you can be in the pranam position. Do whatever that your guidance is coming for you to do. Like you're cleaning your own clothes. Sometimes you clean them deeper. Sometimes you are worried about it. Uh, wider rotation if you're moving the arms and you're bringing the chi up and then palms onto the pranam position. Now sit with that energy and just move the palms slightly away from each other and feel the energy. Returning into the place of the energy from that old dust, from that future collection. I'm coming into this layer of the understanding, the energy of it. This is the healing energy. And very gently allow it to penetrate more into the space of the heart. That your consciousness, that your awareness, that awareness is your being, consciousness is your being, and the dust that awareness has collected around. It is your mind. Mind is a memory collector. Gently take a deep breath in, breath out. Spread the wings wider and touch the floor. Now very gently, left arm reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench. Left reaching into the back, touch the floor. Now move the palms towards the right. And very gently drop the back knee and very gently push the hips into the front and in back and warm up the groin. Then drop the elbows onto the right. If you have a block, use it. 
and go further deepening into that place, very gently allowing the state of the groin to be open. Uh, the mind that has collected dust, the body also collects a layer of that dust. So very gently you're coming into this place. So now is a place of less egoistic, less of a body, more of awareness, more innocent. Nothing superior. Nothing chosen. There is no force of positiveness. Nothing control. The perception coming into this place now from the center. Breathing in very gently, coming back. Shoulders relax and chest open. Into a plank. Now into a stronger plank and coming into a very gently, if you can drop the knees, it's fine. Otherwise, push up position. Chaturanga Dandasana. Breathing in up face. Breathe out down face. Breathing in into a plank, coming into a lower plank, otherwise drop the knees. Breathing in up face, breathe out down face. Breathing in into a plank, lower plank, up face, down face. Six deep cycles of breath in the down face. Memory comes, memory is in the mind. Are you only the mind? Pain comes with the memory, are you only the body? For some, the memory follows them. At this very moment, you should not take the stage of the memory. Breathing in right leg up into the back, give a good rotation to that foot. Release the shackles of your memories. Uh, the given name, who you are, family, father, mother, all those things remove. They can shackle the moment. Right knee to the right chest, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, right knee to the right elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, right knee to the left elbow, breathe out. Breathing in, stretch back, right foot into the front. Directly put the foot onto the present moment. Don't identify you by your roles, titles, Color, arms raised onto the crown, palms onto the pranam position, otherwise six deep cycles of breath. Every moment ask yourself on the breath out, who are you? Really look into you. Try not to get anything from the surface. Try not to get anything from the outside. So the place remains in the present 
I don't know. Whatever you're saying is from a memory, not you. Breathe. Breathe. Are you the body? Are you the posture? Are you the thought? Are you the future? Are you the past? Palms onto the floor. Breathing in right arm, reaching up to the ceiling. Clench and unclench, release the tension of that body from the dust collected from the past and the body and the age and the birth right reaching into the back. Drop the palms onto the left side if you can and drop the knees and drop the elbows. Use a bolster to drop further, releasing the tension. Now witness what is memory giving you, but with consciousness. Now, at this very moment, this has happened to me. But the consciousness is the present moment. It is not me. Of course, you were born. Of course, you studied. Of course, you met someone. Of course, you have children. These are all events outside of your being. Form is just the body that you happen to be there. Mind is a memory that you happen to be. Once you have warmed up that groin and feel that tension is released from that memory, you can have a quite stronger trace in the body. Breathing in very gently, coming back into a plant, strong on the pelvic floor, drop the knees, give a good rotation to the hips and let the digestion release this discrimination. On to the other side taking a break from that past and the future pull, and taking the stage of Vivek. Onto the other side, drop the knees, stretch the spine into the back, Child pose. Wake up the spine one vertebra at a time. Now this is the spine that waking up, you have eliminated all that you are not. So remember when you wake up this spine, you're suddenly in that space that you are not. You are first time meeting yourself, real self. You're for the first, you, you can only meet your being in the present moment. Once you have left the future, once you have left the past, once you have left the identities, once you have left right and wrong, uh, once you have left everything, then you will also have left the mind and the body. And in that spaciousness, when everything that was not you is no longer, suddenly 
the truth has been surfaced. But your mind, this is not a great place. For it, it is like a suicide. But for the first time you encounter yourself. Take a deep breath gently. Ah, it's a beautiful place. I normally sit in this place. Now very gently stretch the legs into the front. Release the tension from the past and to the future. Uh, some of your feet might be still walking into the front too much. Some of your feet might be shackled into the back. But in this present moment, first time you're encountering with the truth, Now point and flex in the feet and release in that tension. Now take a deep breath in and bring in the left knee onto the chest. Now very gently bring the left foot onto the right side. Take a deep breath in and bring in the right foot under the left buttock. If you can. Now stay here and just observe that both shoulders are relaxed. Up. Chest is open and heart is elevated. Spine is relaxed and there is no effort. Now when it is in that place, you can generate the creation to do whatever the posture the body is going to take from Vivek. Vivek means out of freedom. Now, for most of you, the right arm will go up, left arm roll back, and you will twist the spine to the left. And you will keep the chest open. And some of you might just look into the left. Some of you will move into the Garudasana the eagle pose, but I want you to come into your own practice from your being. So coming to a posture, the sequence comes from the place of the center when you have lost the identification of everything. Now you can see if the consciousness is arising, there is no need for the mind to bring thoughts. When your thinking is no longer there, then the no mind is there. Now, if your mind is going to a turmoil, you might say it's security. You might say it's this anxiety is to protect myself. But this constant turmoil is not there anymore. Now, see whether the breath is in the turmoil. See whether the body is in the turmoil. See whether the mind is in the turmoil. We can only see this in the present moment. If you see it with the future, you have been taken from it. If you see it from the past, you are taken from it. Now there is only a liveness in that. This is the liveness that can cure your body, cure the cancer, cure the anxiety. Because it's not forced underneath a deep level of a realization. Now you can see anything repressed can come up at this moment. Breathing in, coming back into the center, shoulders relax and just talk. Spread the wings wider and, and very gently feel that place is beyond the body. So spread this to the air. Spread, it is felt by the trees. It will be felt by the animals. Creation is not just a house. 
Creation is also so many little things of energies holding that what you call house, holding what you call body, holding what you call health, holding what you call wealth. Now shake the legs, release the tension, and when you're ready, move to the other side from the center. Only when you're ready. Now, did I stop your mind? Did I was against your mind? Did I took any actions? First place you have to ask, who will do it? Did the mind find, fight with the mind? Did you divide your mind to do this place? Come to this realization? Did someone try to be the upper hand? Was the other side was against you? All this foolishness that people have been divided. Uh, all that game is over now. To the world is over because it's over for you. It is driving everyone crazy. So observe and love. Take the posture from that freedom. If it wants to run, let it run. If it wants to stop, let it stop. You have become the witness. If the space of your awareness can see the place of this tool. It is the greatest gift that you can carry into the place of the Christmas. You will be star of that tree. You will be the light of that joy. You will be the watcher of it. You will be the enjoyment of it. Because you're watching, you're moving into things without a separation. You're not watching the mind as an enemy. You're not watching the mind as a loser. You're not watching Prejudiced. Looking. Be in the deep state of this pose, of this breath, that elements have come together in deep respect and reverence. In this Christmas, this is your gift for you. Now, in this state of consciousness, thoughts are blossoming, not as a separation, but as a unity. So, of course, your actions, your speech, all are running into the place of that ocean, to the beauty, to the God. Where to unknown place. If it is known, then it's a memory again. Breathing in gently, coming back again into that space and releasing the tension. If there is anything, coming into a sitting posture and coming to that deep reverence. 
Now you are not fighting against anything. You are not fighting for the COVID. You are not fighting for this. You are not fighting for your love. You are not fighting with this, the government. Uh, bring another party on, you're not fighting, you're not fighting. You're not part of the games of the mind. You're not part of the crippling, paralyzing. You're just standing aloof from a distance, not involved. The deeper you have become into this witness, it becomes the deeper you are awareness. Now suddenly, the connection to the memory is to the future just has become gaps, intervals, vivek, satori, even one thought goes away, another thought comes, there is a massive gap now. Now in those gaps for the first time, you have come into the place of spaciousness. First time you're tasting the space of being, space of yoga, space of Tao, space of Christ, space of sin. Ah, not this is my religion, this is the only savior, but this is what it is. And the identification to a religion is more, have become a space of a realization. Suddenly the clearness of that space, the misery of the separation is gone. Barriers are dropped. The cataract is gone out of your eyes. No longer you have to have the second guess to the truth. You're penetrating into the truth. Truth is penetrating into you, merging, and become transparent. Arms very gently raising back to the crown. Gently bringing the palms onto the namaskar, positioning self-realization. Very gently chanting three ohms to vibrate that space of the truth, taking a deep breath, chanting with me. Vibration is very important, especially coming from a realization. Comes gently raising back to the crown, cleansing the space and the aura, the energy. With this energy, you can communicate into the other dimension of your creativity. Whatever is, leave it as creativity. If it's for health for you, then it's health. So well for you, it is, yes, it is given to you. You have opened a portal of the truth, a key to touch any dimension. Protecting the space of the crown chakra, third eye, throat, 
and heart, solar plexus, navel, and mulitara. Arms very gently raised back to the crown, cleansing that space and lightening everything that comes on your way with this realization and see things without the separation. You become that light and the joy in this Christmas that every house even you walked in wouldn't even know the beauty and the grace that you're going to bring. But the blessing will be there. Raise the arms back to the crown, palms onto the namaskar position in that realization. In the space of the spirit, namaste to you all. Namaste. Namaste. So this and this beautiful cat, uh, Daza's dog was there trying to do postures with Daza. Maria's dog was there, the sage was trying to do the postures uh, uh, in, 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 in the place of our Eastern philosophy. We don't see animals as animals. Uh, we just see them as our past encounters. So sometimes they have a huge bond and uh, you think you went and got him or got her, uh, but actually they went and got you. <laughs> so it's funny how things chooses us when we actually think if we have money and all these things, we choose as things. No, actually, according to your vibrations, uh, on a material world, in this manifestation world, they choose as you, and you become the custodians of those things. Uh, the same as the beings. And uh, that's why sometimes say they, they pick up your personalities very easily also. They are the mimic version of you. And sometimes I meet... Uh, uh, because I help my partner with cleaning and all that uh, with uh, HK uh, because it's very busy and I need to give a hand. And I find uh, when I meet the dog in the front or the cat, I can sense uh, what kind of house I'm going to clean, what kind of owner I'm going to meet. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, so enjoy this Christmas. Uh, you only can enjoy this Christmas. Christmas should be, as my uh, uh, feeling is, every day, not just uh, when it is put into one particular day. It's a lot of stress for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to clean their houses for that day. Everyone wants to make the best dishes for that day. Everyone wants to sit together that they have not seen for a many long time. But it is not that going to be easy. Because sitting on a table with someone that you have not seen have to have a lot of compassion and empathy and realizations. Otherwise, out of separation, you will react on this table. And instead of you become Christmas carols and bringing all that joy, you become the Christmas cracker uh, waiting to be burst. <laughs> so be very cautious uh, and do some gentle small things to the world, you know. For me, Christmas is watering my plants, fertilizing things, and keeping my surrounding. Uh, I just do a little window because the public can see from the window. It's most of the time, it's little babies comes and getting. So I put some birds in there. So do little things and enjoy the festive season and make sure you also give that love and compassion to yourself. Uh, we all... As much as we think Christmas is time for the others, it is also a time for you. And the best gift you can do is the gift of silence, that you don't entertain a lot of thoughts and emotions. My love, and I will be there for you in all levels. And thank you for being part of me without separation. Love you all. Bye for now.